Hey y'all, let's check out Chi Chi. Hey y'all, I'm Shy in Second Life. If you're new here, welcome. It is definitely a vibe on this side. We check out aesthetically pleasing places in the virtual world of Second Life. And I also sporadically do lifestyle vlogs. If you're interested in content like this, go ahead and subscribe. So the plan for today was to have the video out way earlier um, today. It is currently 10.29 a.m. and I am recording. So this video, although it is still going to come out um, on Thursday, it's going to be a little later than I normally like for the video to go out, but it should still be okay. So this land is like a Chinese, Japanese themed land. When I panned out, the land is not very large, but we know how the lands that are not very large go. They normally are jam packed with things. So I just wanted to look around this place. I love the colors. I love the Chinese Japanese Japanese themes in Second Life are one of my most favorite themes ever. So I've had this landmark for a while. And so I'm really glad that this place is still here. This uh, space that I'm in right now is pretty tight. So we're going to do um, some just panning around a little bit. Not so much walking around. I did find some difficulty. You, you know, they don't make a lot of these spaces for tall girlies. So just keep that in mind when we do a lot of panning around. But it's super cute in here. This is like a little tavern type space it seems like yeah this is really nice like a coffee bar but they also have liquor i don't know if it's like actually a name for that but i don't know everything is so pretty i'm not in the shared environment this land is not tp friendly so just be mindful of that this is a moderate sam however it doesn't feel like it's meant for kids you know I'm kid chow avies so keep that in mind as well i do like that i am running across more lands look at me talking like a, a a true person in second life that doesn't have any kids um but i do like that i'm coming around this is so stinking cute more lands that um seem to be more geared towards adults now although there are many places and spaces in second life that um do cater to children oh it's pretty over here look at this okay um that do cater to children i'm i'm liking that the places that i'm coming across they do have more of a for adults type feel to it of course you can always bring your kitties um to most of these spaces um as long as they're not adult sims i believe that is something that still holds true in second life i know that wasn't the case um beforehand y'all so real quick i went out yesterday really went food shopping food shopping i went to three different stores and when i tell you i was so just energetically wiped out that i ended up going to bed like super early oh i will say this i have either overcome my insomnia or i tricked it so i'm going to bed like a normal person at a decent hour getting up um a little bit throughout the night but you know we, we're gonna keep working on that but we're we're doing good i feel so much better from um the last couple of videos i just felt so discouraged dealing with this insomnia it's been months i just didn't know when it was gonna end and i'm just so glad that we have come to like that end point so this is like some type of fish it looks super yummy very different from what i'm used to seeing the fish being made like but you know i love it i love all of the colors here i love the water look at this pretty bridge what is this is this like a little cat so i don't know is, is it any of y'all that y'all go places and you get home and you're like ugh just completely wiped out and then i i wear headphones when i go to the stores because just being around a bunch of people it just really um it's very draining for me 
so I wear headphones so that I can kind of oh this water looks so pretty so I can kind of tune the space out if you will and some guy like he was selling not selling he was like giving away like cds and stuff like that took a cd i really like his music i was listening to the music and all of that but he just started talking to me and i'm like i'm leaving the store and he just started talking to me and i'm like okay listen i don't have a problem speaking to you at all but i know you see these big black earbuds in my ears i know you see them i know you see them so i'm like give me a chance to take my earbuds out so i can actually hear what you're saying so i ended up saying like it, can you repeat yourself like three times because the whole time he's talking to me i have earbuds in and so once i got the cd i got in the car and i was like okay the music sounded really nice i'm like all right all right all right and I was really glad that he stopped me because I don't think I've ever even used my CD player in my car before. So it worked out well. But yeah, I'm like, when you see people with headphones on, just give them chance, give them a chance to take out their headphones. Um, I don't necessarily, I don't like to, I don't want to say I have like anxiety when I'm out in public. I don't, but it's like a, it's like an energy thing for me. And it becomes like overly draining to like not have earphones in and don't have any kind of way to kind of um drown out everything that i'm like feeling when i'm in spaces with like a bunch of people so the headphones are just like something that i really 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 have to have it's been times that i've gone places and i didn't have my headphones and I would either leave after a little bit or I just wouldn't go in at all. It's just, it's a lot for me. It's very, um, it's very overwhelming. I love these little seating spaces. So this is like a little game that they have here. This is cute. This is a really nice chill spot. I love all the colors. I think that's one of the things that I love the most about the the Chinese Japanese themed lands are the colors which way do I want to go we'll go this way I love all the reds and the pinks and the greens it's always a lot of water and even like the fishies and things like that it's always so aesthetically pleasing and you know we love we love aesthetically pleasing places I was going through my landmarks I'm um, trying to find this place and the places that i had landmark before i'm like i why do i have these landmarks they weren't the lands weren't bad but i like to go to certain types of lands i'm very much into i want it to look pretty i don't i don't even have a better way to say it i like it to look pretty so when i go to a land and immediately for me it does have to be pretty immediate what's over here um when i drop down it has to it has to be aesthetically pleasing or for me i'm just turned off and i don't even want to look at it and i know that i'm probably missing out on a lot of nice lands that probably kind of trick you in the beginning but I, I i like what i like um i have been exploring second life um lands for a very long time and normally when you drop down and it looks nice that thing will carry throughout the land um just the same as when you drop down and it doesn't look nice or as nice as i would like it to look that also will um carry throughout the land so they have these little these like little like sake dishes or something like that for like sauces i don't know don't get me to making up stuff but that's what it looks like so they have more little seating spaces over here this is super cute so this looks like a conveyor belt like if you had like we're sitting here and they would have like sushi on here and things like that with your dipping sauces let me see i want to zoom in on the chopsticks so yeah that was going on yesterday and that was that's why i didn't record yesterday Cause when I got home, I was just super duper drained. Um, and I fell asleep. I fell asleep. I got up at, I fell asleep at like 8.30. And then I got up at 1 a.m. 
but then I was still sleepy so then I ended up going back to sleep so yeah so I'm like I wanted to pick a land where it wasn't a huge land but it still would be an aesthetically pleasing land and I remembered this land but the only thing was was I couldn't remember the name of the land which is why I ended up they have all these different seafoods in here which is why I ended up um having to shuffle through all of my um landmarks that I have to find this place I would have never I would have never um found this place otherwise because I couldn't remember the name I could not remember the name this is a really cute sushi bar I love this when I tell you these are one of my favorite things this in whimsical was it whimsical slash enchanted i love all of the things but i also i always have like what they got cooking up back here i always have lands that kind of get me excited to tour and so if i find a land that gets me excited to tour i find that it's normally um like an enchanted whimsical chinese japanese themed land but i also enjoy the um the nature collective lands nature collective lands they just do it for me I, you know it doesn't really matter like what the theme is oh that's cute had a little thing flapped out wait a minute y'all see that because i wasn't expecting that how cute is that okay i love it so yeah but i always find that the chinese japanese lands they're always super colorful and so pretty everything is always on theme it's like a little shower space okay and so that's why it is easily one of my favorite um lands to look around it's super pretty out here so they have little thing you can sit on the rocks and take some pictures and just kind of vibe out this little happy frog i love how they have this space kind of just planted in the middle of all of the shops so it's like a little place that you can venture off to when you're not shopping so this is like a really nice sauna space i don't want to fall in the water so we're just gonna pan over so they have the little sauna over here with the hot stones it's super cute okay Got the little stones going. Look at the water. The water is so pretty. Um, All of the stores, the ones that I panned into, because I was kind of trying to see, well, not kind of, I was trying to see what kind of stores they had. And the stores that I panned into, they all had like, well, the pictures were, the models were like Chinese, Japanese models. And so a lot of the clothing um, were like really modern clothes that when I see videos of people like in China and Japan, they are dressed like that. So I really like how they made sure that even the shops on this land, how cute is that little bang bag? Even the shops on this land are within theme of this land where this land is within theme of the shops on this land because I'm not sure which one came first so it's cute this is shiny y'all when I got here um it was dark so I'm like we can't go with that um lighting because it was just it was gonna be too dark I like how they have this picture like a little 3d picture so i picked this lighting and it's not my favorite lighting but it'll do so this is like a little bedroom area is it is this is a bed yeah it's a little bedroom area i love this wall with the flowers i love a good flower wall then they have the bath here with what's on this table these look like just little bath items the view is beautiful absolutely beautiful this land also offers um a tram ride that you can take around it'll kind of just take you around the land so let me get a seat
So y'all, I enjoyed checking out Chi Chi with y'all. The landmark for this place will be in the description box below. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.